You have no originals, no known authors. You have no reason to think that, that any of these people are eyewitnesses, let alone the fact that eyewitness testimony is notoriously horrible, horrible with respect to reliability. No, 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 no. Please don't do this. Please, please don't do this. Not these dumb arguments again. <sighs> it's time for preaching to the choir ministries. Because the story is extraordinary enough that it needs more evidence. And yet, there are entire religious organizations that have built their beliefs on less compelling evidence. Take those alien abduction stories, write them up, and come back in a couple thousand years where you have a history of people believing them and some scraps from the originals, or no, sorry, not from the originals, some scraps from some of the old texts where you have no originals, no known authors, you have no reason to think that, that any of these people are eyewitnesses, let alone the fact that eyewitness testimony is notoriously horrible, horrible with respect to reliability. No disrespect, Matt. When you learn the basics of Christianity, then you can talk about the reliability of the scriptures. Until then, here's a reminder why you need to keep your mouth shut when it comes to our faith. You've misrepresented no. the issue of denominational differences. The denominational differences are in adiaphora. Do you know what adiaphora is? No. Okay. You know what a hypostatic union is? No. Communicati reumatum, the difference between justification, imputation, sanctification? No. Starting to be a preacher. Okay. These are the basics of the Christian faith. Okay. Yeah. As for eyewitness testimony, I can have so much fun with this, it's not even funny. So eyewitness testimony is unreliable. Okay. You know eyewitness testimony has to do with observation, right, Matt? Someone is testifying to seeing an event happen and is sharing what they have seen with you. When a woman is raped, for example, and is asked to identify a man from a lineup, that information is used as evidence to get an arrest. All right? Scientists see things in the lab all the time that I will never see because I cannot afford the equipment. But I'm expected to take their word that what they observe is supposed to be true. All right? What if an atheist claim they never had an experience with a guy? That's a testimony. Am I supposed to say, sorry, I don't think that your story or your testimony is very reliable. What if I witness a car accident that you was involved with? Should I just put my head down, walk away, and not share what I saw with anybody? Do you even know what a testimony is, Matt Delahunty? Uh, do you know how many times mob bosses had people killed who witnessed one of their men trying to put, out, put a hit out on somebody? If eyewitness testimony wasn't so important, then why would they do that? Why would courts subpoena people or, or lawyers subpoena people to, to, to give their testimony in court because their testimony could, lock, could put somebody away? You're being intellectually dishonest and it's disgusting. And there are a whole bunch of other examples I can use with your evolutionary biogenesis and all those things that have to do with what a person observed in the laboratory. But I don't got time to do that. But I do want to leave that thought with you guys. He is saying that eyewitness testimony is unreliable. Scientists see things all the time that I will never see. And I can't test at home. Am I then supposed to say that what they're doing is unreliable? Is nonsense? It goes against your worldview, Matt. And you need to stop talking like this. Eyewitness testimony is very reliable. And you need to get that through your thick skull. Till next time, guys. Read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.